Hello everybody, so in this video I'm going to be explaining what a manifold is. So quickly starting, a manifold, a manifold, so it's a space. So a manifold is a space which locally looks like the real corner space. Now you may hear that locally looks like a Euclidean space. That's not necessarily true. When we define manifold, um, we don't know. So at the beginning, when we define what manifold is, we don't know what metric is. And if we don't know what metric is, um, so the metric for the manifold, and then we can't know what the what structure, what geometry the manifold has. So we can't know if it's a flat space or what. Okay, so we don't. So all we can say at this, at the beginning, at this point, is that it looks locally like a real corner space. All right. <clears throat> Just to make that clear. So what what characterizes the manifold? Well, there's two things. One of them is what's called the atlas. Right. So what do you, what do we mean by an atlas? So suppose we have m dimensional manifold. M dimensional manifold. Now these manifold, this manifold is covered by patches. So let's draw one just one patch. Okay, let's different. Yes, this is a different color. So here's a patch. All right. Let's call it UI. And there's a point P here. Now, there are maps, right, which takes patches of M into patches in real corner space, right? So let's demonstrate that by drawing it. Uh, that was a bit too much. Let's call the map Psi I. You can label whatever you like. And so here's the real corner space. Right. So Let's label, let's label this patch that is in the real corner space U-I and the point P now becomes Psi of P, Psi I of P, right? Because the point is, the point is, map is mapped as well. Now, let's, I'm just going to quickly write this uh, mapping in a more formal way, so so psi i maps the manifold m to the real corner space m. In other words, it takes point p to a point in the real corner space. But what's what what's interesting now is that because this point is mapped to the real corner space. Now this point is associated with coordinates, right? So we can write, instead of psi, psi of p, we can say x of p, where x, where x of p is, um, so we can say this is equal to x1 of p until x m of p. So is that clear? Right? Now this point is associated with coordinates. But okay. Let's let's rub this out and let's uh, carry on. Let's explain what atlas is now. So if we have a chart, uh, sorry, gosh, <laughs> if we have a patch that is paired with a map, so a patch paired with a map, 
This is called a chart. Okay. And a set of charts. So a manifold M has a set of charts. So that the union, the union of these patches is equal to the manifold. And that is called an atlas. Okay. Right. Let's get on with this second the second important thing to define uh, what a manifold is. So it's kind of harder for me to explain. So the second thing is differentiability. Differentiability. So the, so the transition functions, the, the transition, so the transition, the transition, what we mean by differentiability is the transition, the transition from one patch, from one patch to another is smooth. Okay, and when we mean smooth, we mean, you know, if you have a function and you can differentiate an infinite amount of times and you still get a well-defined answer, that is smooth. Okay. Um, so I need to rub this out, take note of this, because I need a lot of space. So, to demonstrate this, to... to you to understand what I mean exactly is suppose we have a manifold M again okay so I need to draw a much more bigger this time I think oh amazing it looks amazing okay <laughs> so this time we've got two patches and they intersect each other okay intersect they intersect. I should not have said they intersect each other properly. And there's a point P. Point P. And what we can do is really this. Let's let's do the same thing. So like the previous part. So so there are maps. There are maps that uh, there are a map that takes U J. So call it psi. J, right? It takes U J to the patch that is in the real corner space. Okay, and call this point Y. Okay, so it takes. <coughs> Point B to point Y. So we can do the same thing for U I. So there's a map called this Psi I. So here's the patch U dash I, and let's call this point X. So it takes point P to point X. Now, the transition function is essentially a function that takes that takes so let me draw it first. I should call it like this first. Okay. So it takes this patch. You move from this patch over here to here. 
So it takes, so if you have a coordinate x, right, and then it will give you, if you apply the transition function, it will give you coordinate, uh, coordinates in this real coordinate space. So give you coordinate y, right? So we can say, in other words, y is equal to equal to the transition function as a function of x, where x is a coordinate in this real coordinate space. Now, if this is infinite infinitely differentiable oh, but you know what I should I should note that um, uh, okay so let's I should write it here maybe let's do it in red uh, should I want you guys to know that when I say x and y what I mean is so x is equal to x1 to xm and similarly with y. Okay, so the coordinates. So if this is in infinite differentiable, okay, then we say it's smooth. Alright, so the manifold is, is differentiable. So essentially, that's just uh, the basic idea of what a manifold is. I probably did miss out one or two things. Um, I'll make sure I put it down in the description below if I did. Um, if I, yeah, cool. So I hope I hope this will give you a better idea in what a manifold is. Thank you.